dangerous stranger arrives in the jungle. Puffy Adder, the serpent. Unknown to the animals of the jungle, Puffy Adder is a magician. Those who know him call him the snake with the evil eye. something foul. Choo. Oh. Don't look now, but do you smell what I smell? It's rancid, isn't it? All those reeky birds have a terrible odor, but I must say rancid seems to smell the worst of all. Even his best friends won't tell him because no one can stand to be near him. I think he heard you, Jenny Han. He's leaving. I hope I didn't hurt his feelings, but I'm not sorry to see him go. <laughs> Fine, Bucky. We've got to keep our eyes open because a serpent with an evil eye has come to the jungle. Hey, I don't think you're listening to a word. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Are you scared, Bucky? Don't be. It's just a rumor. <laughs> it's not a rumor. <laughs> Huh? Right. I am the snake with the evil eye, and I've come to your jungle to find a new kingdom. Kingdom? Were you the king of the jungle where you lived before you came here? I didn't live in a jungle. I lived among human beings, and I was their ruler. How could a snake rule over human beings, anyway? <laughs> I kept them in my power by casting a spell over them with my evil eye. Puffy Adder is powerful. <laughs> he 
even human beings bow down before me. No one can resist my evil eye. I don't like the look in his eye. He's dangerous. You can't resist me either, Kimba. of Puffy Adder, aren't you? And you're supposed to be the strongest in this jungle. We'll see. About you, but I, for one, am very impressed. <laughs> Hush, girls, cut out the cackle. Speak of the devil, here he comes now. Don't you think we should say hello to him, Jenny Hen? Oh, dear, no. He's too distinguished. I don't dare open my beak. Why? That looks like Boss Rhino. Oh, what's Boss Rhino saying to Puffy Adder? You there. Wait. Did you address me? No one else but. Don't be rude. Don't you know you're speaking to one who was once the ruler of human beings? That doesn't cut any ice with me. I've always said human beings were stupid. Oh, no. I'm warning you. This magic I've been hearing about, we don't like that kind of thing here in this jungle because the animals already have the only leader they want, and that's Kimba. Think you can stop me from taking over things from Kimba if I want? Yeah, you bet I can. You're not going to take over anything, puffy <laughs> Jenny, what's happening? Look out, girls, it's Rancid again. Oh, 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 oh. Rancid, hi. How are you? Mm, I'm feeling rotten, Kim, because I don't have any friends. They all run away from me because I have this offensive odor. I'm a reeky bird, and all us reeky birds smell bad because our diet consists chiefly of stinkweeds. But I'm still a nice guy, and I'd like to have some friends. I know it's lonesome for you, Rancid, but the others don't know you the way I do. When they get wind of how nice you really are, they're going to change. <laughs> I hope so. Attention, boys and girls. Our lesson for today is going to be about friendship and kindness. Now, can anyone tell me what qualities one looks for in choosing a friend? Geraldine? Dodie's my best friend because she's friendly. And I like Geraldine because she likes me. Very good answers, girls. We all choose our friends for the way they behave, not the way they look, don't we? Don't judge a book by its cover. That's a good rule to follow, isn't it? I want you all to put it into practice by making friends with Rancid the Reeky Bird. He's great. You'll like him once you know him. That's different. He smells. So do plaster and paint, but out of them, human beings have made many beautiful buildings. Well, tell us about the buildings, Kimba, and the great cities. Tell us about human beings. Are they beautiful? No, not all of them, but some have greater gifts than beauty. Some are industrious and keep the cities clean and pleasant. Some are wise and help to teach others how to live. I'll tell you a story of one man I met. He wasn't wise or beautiful, but he had a kind heart. The story 
happened in England, where I was walking one night on London Bridge with my friend, Mr. Pompous. <gasps> I agree, Kimba. Go ahead and help that poor little pussy. Come on, Kimba, come on. I'm on your side. I'm the underdog, I am. I mean the undercat. You can come down now, cat. You're safe. There it is. Huh? Hmm? That beast won't bother you again. Just a minute. What do you plan to do with that gun? Here, get out of my way. I'm going to shoot that vicious beast by hurting our thoroughbreds. In case you don't know it, these are valuable dogs. Well, in case you don't know it, those dogs of yours are bullies, and Kimba attacked them to save that pussy. Who cares a fig about that filthy-looking cat? Our dogs are more important. Oh, yeah? Don't you know, cats may come and cats may go, but a man's best friend is his dog, and a dog in need is a friend indeed. All animals were created equal, and you can't stop me from standing up for their rights. Out of that lion dog, show this miserable cur who's top dog! Go! of humans are you anyway? You should be smart enough to know one life's as valuable as another. Quiet, you beast. Don't shoot Kimber. That lion's nothing but a wild animal. He can't talk to me like that. Don't you believe in being kind to animals? Not all of them. Get off my back. Help, help. I can't swim a blue in stroke. Hold your breath. I'm coming. <gasps> gotcha. Oh, galloping goldfish. That cat looks beautiful now that it's clean. That reminds me of something I read in the paper. Could this be the same one? Lost. One beautiful Siamese cat. Owner offers $1,000 reward for its return. ta, -ta! ta, -ta! Hey! For $1,000, I can swear. Me too. Here I am. Save me. There it is. Hey! No. Stop it! Give us that cat! One thousand dollars. Bravo! They went off with the cat and forgot all about their dog. Huh? There's a lesson in it, too, isn't there? Yes, don't judge an animal by the way it looks. All of us animals were created equal, so we should be kind to all. Right, Dodie. That's the lesson for today. I especially want you to be kind to Rancid the Reeky Bird and try to make friends. Please try. Come and play with us, Rancid. Come on. Come on down and play. What? They're calling me? Impossible. Can't you hear us, Rancid? We want you to come and play. Are you kidding? No! Come on! Well, I have an offensive over, you know. You won't like it. We know that, Rancid. Nobody's perfect. We all have our faults. Dodie acts too shy, for instance. And Geraldine's a big show-off. But we're best friends anyway. Right. So why don't you stop going around in circles and come make friends? Unless you don't want to. I do, I do. Thanks.
Oh, mm. he's still around. What's he up to? He's up to nothing good, if you ask me, Polly. I don't trust him, Bucky. Why don't we try to get rid of him? But he hasn't done anything wrong, as far as we know. That's what you call lying low. And you must admit that he lies pretty low. He's got something up his sleeve, I'll bet, my britches. Puffy at us pretending to be friendly so we won't be on our guard or suspect him. Then he'll take us by surprise. Oh. That's how it happens in mystery stories. You may be right, but what can we do about it? Why don't I become a detective and spy on Puffy Adder? This is the way detectives do it on television. Careful, Polly. No! <laughs> Gee whiz, I do not think I want to be a detective. Down here, birds! Puffy Adder calls you and you must obey your master! I've got you under my spell. Now you are in my power, all of you. Good thing I came. He's up to something suspicious now, all right. Who's that? Me! Uh-oh. Are you trying to resist me? You see, you can't resist. You're under my magic, and you must do as I command. Come, follow me. That's funny. Where's Puffy Yellow taking Polly and all the birds? I'd better go tell Kimba about this. Bucky! Uh-oh, there's Vincent. He saw me. It's too late to get away. There. This will protect my nose from the offensive odor. Hey, Bucky, do you know where Kimba is? He's at Daniel's diner. Why, Dodie? Did something important happen? Yes, it did. Puffy Yatter took Polly Cracker and all the other birds to the clearing by the creek, and we don't know why. Polly went with him? And the other birds, too? I don't like it. He's the Maybe Polly Cracker and the others need some help. I'm going to follow them down to the clearing and find out what Puffy Adder's doing. You and Rance go tell Kimba. Bye. Gosh. <laughs> Your friend Bucky has followed us here, Polly Cracker. Go and get rid of him. Polly Cracker, where are you, Polly Cracker? There he is. Hi. I was told that Puffy Adder brought you here, so I came to see if I could help. Answer me. Hey, that hurts. Cut that out. Ooh, I can't see. What's the matter with you, Polly? <laughs> Well, I was sleeping so soundly, I got a crick in my neck. Hmm? Oh, hmm? Morning. Help! Oh, Kimba! Kimba! Something peculiar's happened to Polly. Those animals will soon bring Kimba. <laughs> Let Kimba come. I'm going to show him who's the most powerful in the jungle. Puppy Adder! Don't hurt Puppy Adder! Hold on, birds! We're coming to your rescue! Uh -huh. Look! Uh -huh. The birds are free! Hi! Huh? Hey! Look! The birds are under Puffy at his magic spell! Wake up, wake up out of that spell! You wouldn't want to hurt your old friend Kimbo! Let go! <gasps> no use! Wake up, Jenny Hen. You don't know what you're doing. Oh! Ah! Oh, no. Now what have I done to Kimba? Oh. <laughs> the leader of the jungle has fallen. You're responsible for this, aren't you? <laughs> I'm going to take over, Kimba, because I'm the most powerful. Now, your master commands you to attack Kimba. <laughs> <laughs> They're attacking on all sides. They'll do as I say because they're under my magic power and I say they shall destroy you. <laughs> Why are you stopping? Don't stop! 
that smell. Rancid, hooray! Whoa, anything I can You've do? You've done it. You woke up the birds by breaking the spell. Uh, no spell could resist a smell like that. Goodbye. Huh? Wait! I've got a score to settle with you. Evil eye. Hmm. His evil eye doesn't seem to work anymore since he fell on his head. Mm -hmm. Good. He can't beat Kimba without it. Magic Serpent will never threaten the jungle again. For once more, good triumphs over evil for Kimba and all his friends. Who believes 